This is the car that's been described by philosopher Roland Barthes as having fallen from the sky. It's the Citroën DS, the name DS translating to goddess from the French. This elegant deity was leagues ahead of its same-day counterparts. Citroën DS, one of the, the great loves of my life. Um, I think they're beautiful, stunning, iconic cars. They launched at the Paris show in 1955, uh, and it was as though a spaceship had arrived on Earth. Uh, nobody's seen anything like it before. Um, and uh, yeah, the shape of it, hydro-pneumatic suspension, you know, a, a hydraulic gearbox, hydraulic clutch, you name it, uh, it was just just so breathtaking. This vehicle descended from the heavens to the Paris Motor Show in October 1955, and by the end of day one, it had already attracted the attention of 12,000 disciples who immediately placed an order for the DS. It became the car of the moment. It had a variety of uses, from being the official car of the French government in its role as a diplomatic service vehicle, to its employment as an ambulance on the streets of Paris. In 1966, its status as something more than a motor car was cemented when it was installed as a design classic of the 20th century in the New York Museum of Modern Art. What attracted me to the car was its uh, incredible shape, very futuristic, uh, very timeless, very graceful. Considered as elegant as the Venus de Milo, the bodywork attained a simplicity in its streamlined contours that radically contrasted other cars of the era. The DS combined its good looks with a uniqueness that endeared it to so many, with features including innovative hydro-pneumatic suspension, disc brakes and hydraulic power steering. Citroën took the decision um, at the launch of the BX, really, that they would stop making cars that were idiosyncratic, um, cars that you had to be an enthusiast to drive and to appreciate. And they said, um, well, they'd been taken over by Peugeot, who made boring cars. And, and Peugeot said, uh, enough of this hydro-pneumatics and these sort of these silly Citroen eccentricities. Uh, we will make cars that appeal to the mass. And um, by and large, that's what's happened since. Some of the more avant-garde characteristics include amazing headlights that see round corners, which has recently been picked up by the new Vauxhall Astra. The DS also had the rather silly ability to be driven on three wheels, should the need ever arise. 